everything done gone. Ain't no standing no more. We got to come back and get back to our origin of who we are, survival. Y'all hear me? They get through cutting it for the only way them people going to respect them. They got to keep it up. I'll be the last person to come on TV to my call for no con. Hey, I mean, what you say? Burn, baby, burn. Watch that fire, burn. So I ain't told about to do nothing. That's what they learn. That's when they get scared. Now they ain't gonna shoot them. As soon as it's over, they gonna gun them down again. Now they scared to shoot you. Now I see all eyes on. Now the other country looking and they realizing you look like Iraq. That's the only reason white folk mad. They hate this. They like to show everybody else bombings and blowing. You what you say when you see them people? Look at them savages. Now you realize you need to keep your mouth shut. Them people over there blowing up in Iraq and Afghanistan for the same reason these black people burning and blowing up over him because they tired of being mistreated. A lot of folks, let me tell you something. We, first thing, they, they taught us years ago, and you, you, a lot of us still program. When you watch them people walking in and blowing something, first thing we start saying, look how barbaric they look. Man, living in America. Why are these people that are blowing up and burning up now? It ain't about Michael Brown. It's because he's one of many. Michael Brown is one of many. And the sad part, they've already showed part of the interview of the man that come on TV and saying, if he had to do all over, he'd do the same thing again. He said he did it. He said he did what he was trained to do. He did his job. Now, I don't know about y'all. At that point, any black person in the room should have took that camera and opened that joker head up. Anything he should have said, you know what? It's trash. Even for my job, it should have been better words spoken on national TV when they go out. You already got a bounty on your head. I just said, you know what? I wish to God I'd have never got the car. I just wish I'd never ran into him. You know what I'm saying? Just say, it's a tra- first time I ever shot somebody and killed him, I can see and tell you, I'll do the same thing again. That's because he really don't like he killed, he didn't realize he killed a person. Had he shot a dog, it'd have been more serious. Peter would have been on it. Oh, they wouldn't. They'd have made him go in on Michael, they'd have made him go sleep in Mike Vick old cell. But since he killed a human being of a, of a, a dark color, that thing, I don't blame him. What he said, what he, really, what did he do? Listen to him. White protect whites. When a prosecutor go before a jury, which I don't know, the prosecutor job is to prosecute. So you present evidence to get and ensure a prosecution. You're trying to get the grand jury to bound. A prosecutor don't go to see no grand jury to see if I'm trying to see how to get out of this. You go see a grand jury to show them evidence to try to state your claim on why you need to press charge. But see, black people don't know about the law. They don't know that. They don't know that. First person he blamed was the news media. He got his old limp, one eye gone. I said, he old clan. That's old clan right now. Probably got an eye stabbed out trying to sleep with his sister. She was drunk. She said, oh, I ain't know you my brother. I thought you was a stranger. And that's how it wound up happening to him. But anyway, it's just a sad shame and disgrace that we can sit back and watch the kind of fools that go on with us. I mean, I've been with you. It's a mess. whole thing just a flat mess. First of all, I don't agree with him. About my biggest thing right here, he should have went to jail when he had he got locked up or that man would have thrown some good can of karate whoop behind on him. He wouldn't have got shot. He just been getting them nunchuck and chopstick out of his neck and out of his behind when he hit it, put his hand on that man and took that man's stuff out the store. That's the first offense that should have been addressed. That's the first problem I got. Right down there, nobody want to talk about that. Let's talk about wrong where wrong started. That's just be honest. I tell y'all of him, when you, when you sow to the flesh, the Bible says you reap corruption. No sooner he done left that from putting his hand on that man, taking that man's stuff. Look what happened to him. Nobody talk about that. What did these Christians want to talk about that? They, you know, they said, that don't work. That's a separate case. First of all, you just left from doing wrong. So it didn't help your case. Secondly, you going and putting your hand on police at a white police officer. Man, it's been a black one. I say, you know, yeah, a black man got the authority a white one got. Still wrong. Don't get me wrong. At least you can say, well, you know, he figure a black man can't shoot nobody. But you know a white man can shoot you and don't need no case. He don't need no reason to shoot you. He ain't want that bullet to get rushed. There's all kind of reason to shoot you. I don't like your black nigga face. Man got a book with over a thousand reasons to shoot your black behind. Now why you gonna go put your hands on it? Well, it don't make sense how I'm gonna sit in my car, SUV, and let you reach through the passenger side and punch me two times. First of all, you should have been fired. First of all, why you lean up on my car? Why you, you gonna stick it? When you do that right here, by the time you got here, that's where you be. Y'all, now had he shot him right then, cha 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 cha. You say, well, that's just reflex. You let a man hit you two times, then say, the third one, uh oh, I'm gonna die. You had time to do all that thing, so you get hit pretty regular. Go 
the first time he done hit me, I'm like, nigga, what? Bah, bah, bah. Get Cause I'm thinking you were trying to die anyway. That whole thing, that's just sour. That whole story, that, that I'm just telling you, some ain't clean in the milk. Some ain't hit me two times in my face from the passenger side, impossible. Impossible. How you stop me from getting out of my car and you on the passenger side, I'm on the driver's side? This don't make no sense. If y'all look at what side of his face, bro, it's his right side. You tell me, this man, you said he was on the passenger side. How you stop me from getting out of my car? You on the pass? I have a gun. I have a mace. I have a. I will use all my police powers. This makes no sense. Why am I get out and chase you and let you turn around to my stop? Get on the ground. Stop. Get on the ground. I ain't got all that talking to do. I ain't that much talking in the world. This whole thing just sounds sour. Once I brought this out, this whole thing sounds sour. The people out there burn that play down. Listen, y'all do what y'all do. I ain't got nothing to do with it. Who else gonna burn down but some simple? Ain't that right? It's, listen, even on the Godfather, man told Michael when Michael went on shoot. Y'all remember that time Michael pulled the who watched the Godfather? Y'all remember when Michael was gonna kill them two, kill the police chief and the guy in the mafia who had got his daddy shot up. He asked the man, "What do you think gonna happen?" He said, "He think he said it's gonna be bad." He said, "But it's good." He said, "Every now and then, he said it gets rid of all the bad blood." He said, you gotta get rid of bad blood. That's all it is. Sometimes y'all might not believe it or not, but those people that invoke the violence on the street, those are the people they're afraid of. Ain't nobody scared of no black nigga walking around with no sign on talking. We still overcome. Man, shut up. You ain't finna do nothing. Turn a mouth to please, mouth to come out your window. When bricks start flying and bullets, all y'all say what y'all, y'all say that when he put McDonald's out. You know police, they love that McDonald's coffee. You see them fell one leaving in front of that part. They know they it was a smart tactic. Don't move. Just stand there and look stupid. Do not move out that curve. Once you mix out in that crowd, it's a mess. And once you shoot one of them people in the crowd, all you finna do is erupt all these other cities. Let me tell you what I, I told y'all before. They weren't gonna find him guilty. The next move is gonna be, they're gonna see how long y'all gonna burn up and cut the food. Oakland cutting the food. New York is on the street. Atlanta is on the street. You know what they don't? Well, see, they smart right now. They don't got the news media not to publicize it. Cause the more you see, the more you gonna react. So they gotta make it look like it's only in Missouri. Other cities in the uproar. Chicago cutting the fool on them. These people ain't got no more props. See, this is what they respect. Why y'all sit around? They want you to come out with your black face. We want the call to come and we want to get the people. You know, this bad. Even white people march saying this wrong. That's the sad part. This ain't just a black issue. It's whites even say it's wrong. It's wrong. It took me another way to handle that. You don't have a gun. You charging me. It's the other way to take you out. Like I said, this me. If he done shot it when he got popped in the face, I said, that's reaction. But once a man I ran off, I'm chasing him. You ain't got no gun. Ain't no reason to shoot you. Come on. I got, you train better than that. I got this and that done. Let me tell you something. That pepper spray will bring down an elephant. There's no way you're going to tell him that pepper spray ain't going to stop him. I got enough time. Stop. I'll shoot. Get on the ground. Stop. And then at 21 feet. I got time to measure. I just started shooting. And when I was shooting, I kept shooting. And before I knew it, I unloaded. That in itself, he should have been fired. If you're that dumb, you shooting a gun, you don't know what you shoot. You just let You got people outside. I ain't nobody that retarded. It's impossible. But that's what they'll tell y'all. Thank the Lord. Y'all all right? Y'all didn't know they had already been training over a month for y'all, did y'all? They had, listen, they had already put all these police departments on notice. They had already been, every one, even countries been training for y'all. Y'all didn't know all these people were training for y'all. They already knew what the verdict was. I knew what it was for almost a month. All right, y'all ain't got to believe me. I already knew what it was for over a month. I knew what they were going to do. I was already told they were training for y'all. They were all, Every city was already put on notice to be ready. They knew that man wasn't going to be charged. Because you black, you stutter too much when you talk. Then your story cut and you smoke weed. Man, it was easy to dodge these people out and make a fool out of them. You ain't going to remember everything word for word when you saw it. And all they got to do is trip you up on the stand and make you snap your credibility gone. Come on, something you saw... Four months are going to put you, can you tell it direct like you seen it four months ago? Something going to be off. Once I'm going to get you, your story inconsistent. Get out. He shot me in his arm. Also, I throw this one up. Right there, got him. See, right here, he don't even know what he's talking about. Sit down. I meant this up. Change the story. It's easy, this, it's easy to trip you up when you black. They know you don't understand the system. But I'm going to tell you what they already had for y'all. 
he had a good lawyer would have already said, let him know. He's going to be convicted. Y'all don't be stupid. Listen, there's no way in the world they're not going to convict him. Only thing they were setting him up to do was let him off. They didn't want to get him on a state charge. Murder is a fe- that's a state charge. That's not a federal charge. People know why the FBI didn't come in. The FBI came in and do what they had to do. Come in and show their face to get you to settle down. It didn't work. Get back. You can't do anything until the state get finished. Now, since the state done, the feds will, listen, they will indict him. He'll be charged for violating his civil rights. There's no way he's going to get around that. He's going to be charged for violating his civil rights. But that worked out better for him. He'll go to a country club. He's going to be in protected security. The maximum time for violating his civil rights is 10 years. He'll get seven. Good behavior, he'll do less. He'll get seven. You got to make it. They'll offer him 10. They'll give him 10. But he won't do 10. Feds is 85%. He get 85 cent, 85 percent on the dollar, so he'll do good. He'll get like 14, 15 days off every year for good behavior. So he won't do the whole ten, and he'll be in protected custody, and you can have cash on you in a federal prison. In the federal, yeah, you can wear Jordan, Nikes, state jail. You can't do that. State jail uniform. Everybody gotta have white shoes, or you gonna have on sandals. That bottom line. A lot of these folks don't know this was a setup from the get go. But see, what are they gonna show y'all? That Al Sharpton, Jesse J they gonna come out. You know what they gonna say? We did it. We got it. See, that's how they make a fool out of y'all. Just like when, when they killed them voters down in Mississippi. That's the same scheme. Yeah. Yeah. You go ahead and get the trial up and you wind up. See, there's no way you can come back and trial him for that. You can only trial him now for violating his civil rights. This is an easy case. Let me tell you how else how ignorant these folks going to be. The family moved too fast. Listen, I already see this stuff coming. Y'all know why he did that interview so fast? Because they're going to pay him. That's the only reason he did it. He got paid. Let me tell you why he did that already so quick. Because I'm tell you what blacks do. You dumb. You're going to sue him now. You don't sue him now. Wait till the nigga write the book. Wait till the movie. See, you jump too fast. You jump fast. You don't slap the lawsuit on him. You don't get them little crumbs. That's all you don't get. After he done with that and they don't rule that, his other money all his. That is too easy to beat y'all out. Y'all don't think. Get everything he got. You got to wait. You don't never slap it with no, don't slap it. That's itty bitty money. Once everybody knows George Stephanopoulos is done with it, everybody going to want to get it. People want more detail. They his, uh, listen, they done already, I guarantee they have approached him for a book. He's already set for a book. He's going to wait and write a book, and he's going to walk with clear money. But you got to wait. Same thing the boy done did. Let me tell you something. The same boy shot Trayvon Martin, same thing. That's how you get them. Blacks move too fast. They, let me tell you, they wish I were dumb. They wish I were dumb. They would love for me to be out there. Them folks would shoot me and put a brick in my hand. Like, Won't you cut out here? Because it's a dead setup. No, they're going to go and holler at throw. They're going to pull a tip. You see, he be showing that gun on Twitter. That, see, he was down there shoot. No, he down there shooting them people. I ain't no fool. You getting shot. They shooting a nigga ain't got a gun. What they going to do with me with a gun? I ain't no fool. I'm going to be right. i keep my black behind. My name ain't Dr. Kane. He ain't going to chop me up down there. We at Atlanta. Y'all be safe now. I'm going to be praying from Kanye. Y'all ain't going to no march with these people. Y'all hear me? Man, please. I mean, I'm on bulletproof sauce. I ain't going to them people. I ain't crazy. I see them much. I'm going the other way. Can't the police. I'm back for finna cut the food. I didn't take off. Them are hard to blame. I hope y'all get away. That's it. Y'all all right? Well, thank the Lord. They'll be all right at the end of the day. But you know what? Y'all can say what y'all want. I don't. Let me say this. I don't subscribe to violence. To a certain degree. But there are some necessary evils. I can prove that. I can prove that. There are some necessary evils. When we went up to take our land, who did the Lord leave down? He left them Gentiles down. He left them down for us. If we got out the path, we got the way. When we went to drive them out, he said we couldn't drive them all out. They had chariots. He, Lord said he left them there. So in case we get out of the way. Don't you know, I wouldn't dare sit around and try to train. When I put this train out telling people about nonviolence and how we should do and conduct ourselves, the Lord needs some of these people. That's why he ain't going to let everybody hear what I say. He need them people. They, they if everybody heard what I say. You know how I many more they'll be shooting down us? They need them people they can't control. Them black that don't mind going to jail. The one don't mind pushing over police cars and busting out windows and burning down buildings. They need them. We need those people. So when I say they are necessary evil, listen, it, let me tell you who else was a necessary evil. The Klan were necessary evil. And still are. They're necessary evil. The skinhead, they're necessary evil. 
Because when we get out the pad, we get, out, we get turned out of the pad, we got to decide. Listen what it took to, to cause us to come, try to come, so-called, quote-unquote, come together, pray, unite, march. A black boy get killed. A boy. So you start losing your kids, then you start to consider. Even the Lord told about come and get us, he said, I'm going to rob you of your children. See, y'all don't, that's why they are, these people don't know no better. You don't know no better. Look what it takes to get you to turn around. God been giving you a clean word, teaching you, telling you what you need to do, but you hadn't heard that. You managed to ignore God. So when God let these people come and rob you of your children, now you start to consider. Ain't that right? Because they're going to go to the wrong people as I always inquire them. They're not going to come and ask me because they don't want to know if there's no God in Israel. Ain't that right? They fall through a ladder and they lose their son. They ain't going to go, they ain't going to want to go inquire me. Ain't that right? They don't want to ask me because they know I'm going to tell them. What I'm going to tell them, they ain't going to want to hear it. They don't go get Jamal Bryant, little whole monger, cheat on their wife and gay. Al Sharpton look like Debbie the dog. Jesse Jackson, I was all, uh, the boy told you he went to Jesse Jackson's room and Jesse Jackson, his heart was flooding real fast while he was in his boxers. While he was playing with himself, masturbating. This don't bother these people. This don't even bother these people. Same people that marched against whites. All this what they went through about the word nigga. They say he should have cut the nigga Obama balls off. That didn't bother none of these people. Well, that, that, that's what happened when you have a hot mic and a, y'all remember that mother? Oh, he running his mouth on stage? How much Mark Jackson them did about the, black, about the word nigga? Oh, man. How they done marched and protest? When Key went to do something he wanted, that fella had the mic on running, he told him, he said, man, he should have cut that nigga balls off. Like, wow. The only thing about it, he gay. You want to know what a gay man going to do with a black man balls when they cut off? Definitely ain't going to shoot him. I just don't know how did he get to the point the man didn't want to do. Why you come up with, with circumcising the man from the bottom end? That ain't no I don't even know how that he didn't do something you won't cut his ball. What's the equivalent? I'm not getting it. How did you go to why you say somebody ought to kick his behind, stupid behind ought to be impeached? How did you come up with cut down the man genital genital? What is wrong with you, Jesse? No, Jesse, no. Put the man growing down, Jesse. What is wrong with these people? Folks, we in bad shape. But every now and then these things happen. Now they'll come, they'll start wanting to talk. Once the FBI done had enough, enough building to get burnt down, enough white people go until they got to stop, then they'll go ahead and they'll pull them in for violating their civil rights. It'll look like y'all did something. The march, they'll come, then they'll tell you, see what happened when we march? See, the marching ain't did nothing. What invoked these people to do something? It's the burning. Let me tell you where it hurt. They say, you burn down your own store. Them store that got burned down. Let me tell you what y'all don't know. That was a blessing. Let me tell you why it was a blessing. Because Ferguson economy had dropped. The people weren't making any money. So these stores that burned down, these people going to claim they had money left in them. They had so much product they had just, I mean, it burned to the ground. They ain't going to be lying. Insurance come. You know where it hurt? It hurt white America. Even they tell you, you burn out your own neighborhood. Y'all hurry. They're stopping you. We don't. Blacks don't insure blacks. Whites insure us. Now, who you think you hurt? They don't teach them that, though, okay? They, they so big. You know what they say? All of them say the same thing. You know what they say? You so dumb, you burn out your own community. But we got insurance. Y'all don't think like me, do you? How many y'all, how many times y'all hear that speech? Who you think insure our community? They do. Huh? With State Farm and Geico and Allstate and all them people in you know, that mutual home hall, they get that bill. They're going to tell the police they need to, they're going to tell the federal government they need to print charges. Okay. Y'all messing around. When they start telling them, these folks keep burning. We're going to need a bailout. We can't cover all this stuff. Because these people, listen, you want to pay these folks for lost wages, too. It's going to be a real big bill. It ain't just the building going to be involved. McDonald's going to tell you, we're a corporation. We're losing money. We're going to file what we're losing every day. They're building down. They got to pay for the cleanup. Them brand new archers we just put up. Where they at? Down in ashes. They're going to be just like the people that came and told Joshua when they came. When we left, this bread was hot out of the oven. When we got here, and molded. These shoes, when we left, where we from? They were brand new. We, we live so far from here, we walk, we walk hold in the bottom of them. Yeah, that's how it works. I can help y'all out with a lot of stuff. Y'all didn't know that, did you? How many of y'all were saying the same thing? Shop, they need to stop burning their own community. Won't they go, go ahead, go ahead, I know. That's how they teach you. 
That's how they teach them. Them stories only gonna help them out. That community wasn't making no money. Them folks, they already been on the news. Y'all, y'all don't watch the economic news. All you keep watching, you need to know what's going with the company. Them people already were complaining how they had lost money. They were in the hole. This helped them. That helped their community out. Them store burned down. They so busy, ready to go and hang everybody. But they don't teach y'all no better. Y'all, you know what they'll do? If they go catch them people, bring them to you, y'all will be the one to kill them. Y'all be, they ain't did me no damage. I'm good. Y'all hear me? I do like they did when they watch a black baby getting hung or whatever. It ain't my baby. Huh? Do like they do when they watch, when they watch them churches burn down. How many of them ran and put them out? I do the same thing they do. It ain't my building. It ain't my problem. How they, how they had to do when they see them folks come up here and watch us get stripped butt naked on top of an auction block? Knowing we don't belong here. Chained up and whipped. Ain't my problem. Don't belong to me. I'm thinking like they thinking. I'm doing like they doing, right? I mean, I've never burned down any buildings. I didn't have anything to do with it, so I bear no guilt, right? Ain't this how they did? So what if my dad had burned down their buildings? That was my father. That's how they did things. That's what the kids can go back and say later on. They said, you know, your dad and your mom, they burned. I said, back then, that's how things were done. See, you go back and get their own cover and say, they don't like that, though. I love watching the white people. These people, they're just hooligans, right? Hooligans. What them people had to be burned down our churches back then? Burn down our home. Come and snatch a man out of his bed from his wife. What kind of, what do you call them? Hold on. Again, you know what they say? Riding around using profanity. I just couldn't imagine it. I couldn't imagine it. Police beat you in your head and you cuss. That's not the way to properly handle the situation. Peaceful protest. Why they didn't do that to us when we were here? Talk, folks, why didn't you peaceful protest? Why they didn't walk around with signs talking about they shall overcome? They exactly right. They know it don't work. You know what they realize? They want to get us up. Violence. Violence. So when they watch black people come back, now the rooster don't come home to roost. Huh? It's the truth, Malcolm. Telling the truth, you send your chickens out. You know how happy a homeowner is and a farm and your chicken come back to their house. You come out, you don't let your chickens out in the yard, and they just got enough sense to come in the gate by themselves. Well, you glad to see your chicken? Every one of your chickens come back. Why America ain't happy to see all their chickens come back? Huh? They birthed them, they taught them, they sent them out, they breeded them. What do you expect them to do? What do you expect some people that lack education? That sit around in an impoverished neighborhood that's being degraded, disgraced, raped, and beat by the police. What do you expect? What's, what's their outlet? Hire an attorney? Go buy a news media? Buy a commercial? They got to react with what they got. See, when you leave people, when you leave a person sitting around and you leave their hands tied, then you leave them to do whatever. And you hadn't taught them and showed them anything different. What do you expect them to do? What do you expect them to do? Nobody want to take the blame, now do they? They don't look at it. They ain't going to let me on TV let me talk about it. They, they won't believe I said it. Right there, flat face to them. Then I get them little hooligans for out there running around cutting the food, too. Because they ought to be calling on their God. If anything they ought to be doing, they ought to be God. But they ain't got enough sense to call on God. God ain't giving them that kind of sense. I could teach them if they let me, but I can't help them out. They got too many problems. I ain't no use trying to calm them down. Let them people do what they want. Go and get the sin out of them. Them burning on down, burning on down. I know Oakland ain't going to shut down. That old black Kasimi Reed, old nasty nigga Muslim, talking about, I'm one time, you go down there near the express where you been arrested. Find out where he stayed to. All these folks, they kill me. These black folks come out. This nigga grew up in Atlanta. Doing a missing murder child. He know how that place is. They try to act like all of a sudden they get in these position like they can't believe it. We just got a few bad apple. Typically all I put quit that that. Like, you know, good way a lot of police corrupt. No good way they doing corrupt. 93% of them corrupt. They can't corrupt. Can you corrupt? The majority, you got a few good ones in there, but the bad ones going to outweigh them. Talking about putting a camera on their uniform. You know, good way them white boy know how to fake that camera out. How many times we don't seen Cameron couldn't convict nobody? Look at Rodney King. We had all kind of camera on him. How did that work out? 
Jury found him not guilty. Wet cameras on him. So you think a camera on these police and, and the family ain't got no better sense. We going to march. You know what we going to call it? The Michael Brown Law. Well, you got to wear a camera on your uniform. Yep, I saw that coming. Man, take them cameras. You're going to find where they be freaking in them car with them holes, man. You better leave them cameras. They ain't going to stop nobody. If you don't change a man's heart, put nothing on their clothes, they ain't going to stop nothing. That bad supposed to mean he's supposed to stand for something. That ain't standing right over his heart. You ain't going to stop nobody hard with no camera, man. You got to change people hard. You got to work from the inside out. Man, these people are so primitive in their thinking. When they ever changed anything? 